Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about uh, moving average or MA, which is a very simple technical analysis tool. Uh, let me add one MA here. I'm using eToro or chart today. Uh, yeah, you can find moving average. The reason uh, is that on uh, eToro platform you can find all the different of the moving average in one place uh, like simple, exponential, time series and rest uh, this time, okay just to show you how it looks like I'm adding uh, one moving average period I leave it at 50 for now okay and yes. yeah this is the moving average um, the moving average smooth out price that by creating uh, constantly updated average price depending on the time period we specify. Uh, some key uh, features of the uh, moving average is that a moving average is widely used technical indicator. So many traders using moving average and you know, uh, this is one of the first indicators that anyone who starts trading will learn how to use. Uh, moving averages can be uh, constructed in several different ways. Uh, like I explained to you here, when you add in the moving average, uh, you can see just I'm going to add another moving average with exponential, and I'm leaving this as a red uh, just to, for you to see the difference. You can see exponential uh, moving average is more sensitive to price move, and the reason is that. The formula is a bit different. It's not like simple moving average. And on the uh, exponential moving average, uh, you give more weight to the recent moves of the price. That's the reason it's more sensitive to the move. Okay. I'm going to delete that uh, exponential now. Um, you, you, you can't say that which one is better, you know. Uh, it, all depends on what stock you're using, what market you're working on, uh, working on, and uh, you know different time frames. So not really. You can't just comp you can't just compare and say which one is better. So let's talk about the uh, why. To use a moving average. The reason is if you look at the price, the first reason is that, as I explained, a moving average uh, just reduces the noises on a price chart. And it makes it clear for us to figure out the trend. We can see here, for example, we here we can see the uptrend by just looking at this one. Uh, also, the other reason can be, you know, moving averages are good support uh, line. So, uh, for example, if you buy here, then uh, you look at this moving average and you're just moving your stop loss as you go and just putting the stop loss below the uh, moving average uh, so that's a good so uh, because it's a very good support sometimes just bounce back like here from the moving average it depends what uh, period of moving average you choose okay uh, so in terms of the strategies, um, 
not just just a report for get. It's not always like the you know uh, support here. It was uh, it is support here here for example, but sometimes just you know uh, breaks out the price and but support always. So I'm saying it can be used as support. Uh, and as a general guide, if the price is above a moving average, the trend is up. If it's above and stays above. And vice versa. Um, okay, so let's go to the... Uh, Strategies, as I said, uh, strategies, be using uh, different strategies with uh, moving averages. The first one is uh, just when the moving average, not when the price crosses the moving average. For example, here you can see that cross, price crosses above moving average and uh, it's a buy signal, and if it crosses uh, the moving average from top to below, then that's a sell signal. Okay. Um, did we cover everything or not yet? Now, um, the time frame that we choose for the moving average is. Uh, Normally people use 10, 20, 50, 100, and 200, but some other people using uh, Fibonacci numbers like 13, 21, and uh, 55, and the rest. Um, so there is no big deal what numbers you use, uh, as long as, uh, uh, just just for comparison, go here and add another moving average. So this time choose 20. And simple. You can see that in 20 uh, we have more noises. The big is moving average, less noises. Okay. Um, yeah, as I said, the moving average with smaller time frame will react faster to the price. Um, so the other trading strategy we explained about the crossovers and the price crosses uh, the moving average. The other one is using two different moving averages. Like here we use uh, this one which is 20 and this one which is 50. So any time that the smaller moving average crosses the uh, moving average with bigger period, then, uh, or you can call it fast moving average and slow moving average. Uh, so any time that fast moving average crosses above the slope, that's a buy signal and vice versa. But as I always say, look uh, straight in the direction of trend. Um, yeah, there are some uh, disadvantages, or disadvantages also for moving averages. Moving averages, uh, like many, many other of the uh, indicators are calculated based on the historical uh, data. Uh, so we cannot be a lot, you know, predictive in nature, but, you know, the strategies that we explain uh, based on what happened uh, in, uh, in the past, and we apply the same to the future to predict. Uh, and, you know, one major problem is that 
if the price action becomes choppy, the price may swing back and forth and generate many signals. Uh, for example, here we can see a buy signal, which is a false one, and it goes back again. Or if you're just using one moving average, you can see here just slide goes up. So in not trendy market, uh, moving average is not very good. Um, that's another disadvantage of using moving averages. Um, to wrap this up, uh, a moving average just simplify the uh, price by uh, smoothing it out, or you know, just less noise. Uh, this mm, this help us to see the uh, trend line easy and better. Uh, we have different types of moving averages. Uh, I explained two of them: simple one and exponential one. Exponential uh, moving average react quicker to the price change because the formula gives more weight to the uh, recent price changes. Uh, yeah, so the popular uh, strategies are the crossovers, but there are some other strategies that um, uh, I don't have time on this uh, video to explain those ones, you know. Uh, so those strategies are more complicated. You uh, should look at the contractions, for example, here. I'm just explaining that a bit uh, faster. You can see that uh, the distance between two moving averages extends, and then it starts to contract. When it contracts, uh, it gets closer. It's a very good place to bounce back. Uh, so price normally pulls back when yeah when the when two moving average uh you know get closer to each other or contraction is uh, but to confirm that normally here for example you can see that the wedge is uh, shaping so if we just add uh, two lines so it's been a long time to use this Okay, so two, yeah. Um, we go and draw a maybe segment here. You can see from here to here. Then we go and draw another. Uh, segment here. So to confirm the uh, contraction, as you can see, we have the contraction and also this triangle price just breaks through the uh, top line of the triangle, then that's a good uh, buy signal. And as you can see, it's very close to the contraction of uh, the two moving average. So, uh, yeah, it may look very easy, you know, the moving averages, but if you go uh, and study more and more and, you know, just uh, combine the moving average with different indicators or like this, you know, uh, different uh, trading strategy to confirm those, you can see that, you know, still, still plenty to discuss and uh, we don't have enough time on this video. I'll probably make another video when I have time to explain uh, those scenarios. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, have a nice day and please ask me any questions you have. Good